All right, quick discussion about the Altel X-Star battery. Um, taking it apart to get the internal workings out. Um, this is a battery I've taken apart and put back together, so it's a little more bloated than it would have been in the drone because I pulled the cells apart. I was trying to find serial numbers on the on the batteries themselves to work or lipos for it. Um, but again, if you're careful taking these apart, um, you can maintain the case and the end to it. So generally a couple things are is this end has to come off and there's little knobs inside of here that kind of clip into spots. So you have to kind of pull them back a, a little bit to get it to slide off all the way around, which is a little more difficult. And then the end out here is glued, so then it stays together. But yet, again, take a, very carefully take a knife and cut slowly and carefully into these joints and then you can get it to pop. Um, when I first did it, I think I cut them and took a screwdriver and kind of, you know, from an angle, pried a little bit on it, trying to get it to separate. So then I slowly worked it open. Um, so again, for the general removing of the top, you've got to get something in between the two pieces here. Now I was using a thicker screwdriver before, but again, kind of get a thin one, thin one inside of here if you can. Um, and you'll see the case just kind of move away from it because there's little clips that go inside of these holes here and they're on the ends on both sides so sometimes it, could, it can be a little difficult um, again this one's I took it apart once before but it is a little chewed up from uh, playing with it a little while ago trying to get the top back off again you know, this one's being difficult a little tight on this side here so trying to go on that kind of an angle there we go all right, so that essentially pulls the end of the cover off, which had clamped the battery together. So inside here, you basically have your button, and then just like a clicker, I'd say it's probably like an acrylic that the LED lights shine through that shows your indication um, when it's charging or when it's in use. This one is charged, so I have a little more careful with it. Um, I had it taken apart, and then I well, now I put it back together and then tried charging it to see if it would hold a charge. And it does actually hold a charge, so it's a decent charge on it. Um, so from here, again, if you take very carefully, take an X-Acto knife and just kind of score these. And it takes you know a little bit of time to do it to the point where the battery will start to kind of separate. And then, again, I took like a flat screwdriver and I kind of, not knowing what the internal battery workings were, you know, carefully kind of did this and I kind of pried it a little bit and you can see it kind of wiggling to kind of get it in there to help separate it out um, so I did that kind of on both sides scoring it and then kind of working a little bit taking some time so then once you kind of get it open I didn't pull it fully apart I didn't pull the bottom I left this it's still glued down here so if I open it up kind of like I guess maybe like a pistachio or something kind of cracking the shell here pulling it out so that leaves the case generally intact. Um, I did have one of these sides here cracked, which I don't know if it did it before. Yeah, so there's a crack in the case there. But I mean, you can glue it. That's your in internal workings of the battery. Now again, I I removed all the shrink wrap on this. So this is just tape, packing tape. As I tried to tightly wrap it to get it to go back inside of the case. Um, with this as well, there's a piece of metal here, which I'll show you. But here's the here's the wrap. It has all the information on it. Basically, it's a heat shrink. Has all your, your battery information inside of it. So again, in, internal workings of the battery. I mean, very simple. Again, with so just it's a lipo cell. Um, I'll try to be careful here again. I open this back up because I did again do packing tape on it to kind of put it back inside of the case. Fireworks, dogs are gonna try to come inside. 
right, so again, carefully cutting that. Again, so this is a protective metal. This is the lipo cell itself. Again, I've taken this apart once before, so. <clears throat> again, I'm not an electronic specialist. I don't, I tinker around with things. So that's why I, I kind of have an understanding of how these things work. But uh, if you do try this at home, be very careful. Um, again, they can cause fire and dam damage. Because these are charged, so I should be. I need to discharge these further before I kind of finalize this pack. But uh, so again, these are individual lipo cells. There's no information on the battery in terms of serial numbers, part numbers. These are some kind of part number, it looks like, and their batteries are sequentially numbered. Um, again, there's a number on the bottom, but no indication of the manufacturer, size, voltage. Uh, just doing the research, looking at you know, lipo cells, three point. I think it was 3.7 volts. It's about these typical cells multiplied by four gives you the 14.8. If I'm doing my math correctly in my head. Um, so between here, you've got again the, the main board, the power connection to the battery cells, and then there's a balance. Looks like a balance um, lipo balance lead that connects to the board, so it'll balance the cells, and also a temperature like thermometer, something here that knows the temperature of the battery, and your plug in for that. So. So again, generally that's the what's inside of it. Now, if I when I try to do some new battery packs, I'm gonna keep the motherboard on off of it, disconnect it from the top of the battery pack, and then also disconnect the lipo leads from it, and just use all that the top portion of the battery to do uh, new cells. And we're gonna experiment that with that and go from there. So.